Now tell me if this makes sense. Just because someone speaks against homosexuality, that does not make them homophobic. If someone says they don't like burgers, they're not burgerphobic. Stop that rebuttal. Now, if a white person says they don't like blackness, they don't make them racist or anti-black. If a white person compared liking black people to liking burgers, what would you say, Brother Ben X? So I guess subjects and objects have no distinction and we can correlate disliking food to disliking people. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, everybody has a preference, right? And speaking of burger phobic, man, I don't like onions on my burgers. You feel me? Assalamu alaikum, fam. It's your brother, Ben X. And I'm going to need all my true followers and supporters to get the bail money right. Because they may take me to jail for this body bag. So let's dissect this video. Now, he said, if a white person say they don't like blackness, that don't make them racist or anti-black. And the sad part about that is he really thought he made a good point. But let's look into it. Let's start with the word racism. Now let's look at the difference between the word prejudice and racism. Prejudice refers to a preconceived idea about a particular group, while racism involves an unequal distribution of power on the basis of race. So no, my black conscious brother, that is not racism just because they don't like blackness. You may say, okay, brother Ben X, you got me there. But my question was, that don't make them racist or anti-black. Well, it does make them anti-black, but... That's just a random fact. Why are you even saying that? Sounds like a strawman argument to me. What's a strawman argument? Let's check it out. A strawman argument is a misrepresentation of someone's position to make it easier to attack. See, here's the trignology he tried to use here. I said because someone speaks out against homosexuality that that don't make them homophobic. He tries to use the example that if they don't like blackness, don't that make them anti-black? Here's why that's a bad analogy. Because what he's trying to say is, because I said if somebody speaks out against homosexuality, that don't make them homophobic. He was trying to say, yes, it does make them homophobic. Mm, no, it doesn't. According to the dictionary here, homophobic, having or showing a dislike of or prejudice against homosexual people. It's a little blurry, but y'all see what it say. People. So usually when somebody speaks out against homosexuality, you got all the LGBT community talking about, oh, y'all need to stop this. Y'all hate gay people. Didn't nobody say nothing by gay people. If somebody dislike homosexuality, that does not mean that they hate gay people. Just because I don't like or agree with the drug dealer selling out people drugs that got them spazzing out, that don't mean I hate the person. So the example I was trying to make with the burgers, just because I speak out against eating meat. Don't mean I necessarily hate meat. I mean, I don't eat pork no more. I mean, but it was good. I'm not going to lie to you. And please, can y'all please, every time somebody speaks out against homosexuality or just share a thought about homosexuality, you always try to rebuttal with, well, you secretly must have a problem with your sexuality. I seen that in the comment section. People just be saying that because they really be in the closet. <sighs> Gotta do better than that. And to your last question, my brother. You asked me, if white people compare liking black people to liking burgers, what would I say? What would I say? I don't give a damn. How does that bother me, change my life, affect my life because they compare liking black people to liking burgers? But hey, man, that's just my little response that you was looking for. What's y'all thoughts, though, fam? Education is elevation, and our student of analysis today is Brother Ben X, because though he thinks he has a body bag, he don't recognize he is seeing the corner. I'm going to start this off by stating this clearly, especially for y'all in that comment section. When it comes to the topic of homosexuality, it is not a centering of whiteness or white people. You do know that black trans, black lesbian, black gay folks do exist. Which brings me to Brother Ben X. Now, he said that just because someone speaks against homosexuality, that does not mean they are homophobic. If someone say they don't like burgers, they not burgerphobic. Stop that rebuttal. And then I said, if a white person doesn't like blackness, does it make them racist or anti-black? And he said it doesn't make them racist, but it does. Well, it does make them anti-black, but that's just a random fact. Why are you even saying that? Sounds like a strawman argument to me. What's a strawman argument? Let's check it out. A strawman argument is a misrepresentation of someone's position to make it easier to attack. See, here's the trignology he tried to use here. I said because someone speaks out against homosexuality, that that don't make them homophobic. 
He tries to use the example that I find that funny because his original point was structured by a debate fallacy where he created a false equivalency in comparing homosexuality to burgers. Now, Brother Ben, let's get into this straw man argumentation because you say it's been committed when somebody has misrepresented your argument, right? Brother Ben, you've committed a straw man argumentation with this headline and how you're choosing to characterize my argument. I told you I don't use the terminology of phobic or phobia. I told you the terminology I use. I'm going to go in context, brother. Your false equivalency of comparing burgers to homosexuality is not homophobic. It is homo negative. It is the force that literally affects the lives and well-beings of gay men and lesbian women. You feel me? I ask you, if a white person doesn't like blackness, does that make them anti-black? You said yes. Now, I ask you, if a white person doesn't like blackness, does that make them anti-black? You say, yes, you not liking homosexuality makes you homo negative, brother. Now, black folks, I know a lot of us don't know, but a lot of black homosexual people have been able to contribute to the political, social and economic independence of black people like homosexual black man, Bayer Rustin, as well as the GOAT James Baldwin. Brother Ben, that intellectual body bag you characterize is funny, bro. And speaking of funny, brother, I think it is humorous that you point out that if white people don't like blackness, it does make them anti-black. But why should you care? That's funny. Now, in your definition of racism, brother, you accounted for power. You do realize that anti-blackness also necessitates power. So when you say that if a white person doesn't like black people, why should you care? You should care, brother, because of power, the means of production, resources, accessibility, opportunity, power, brother. Brother, I'm going to end this with a conversation of intersectionality. It's the framework that identifies how interlocking systems of power will affect those who are most marginalized in our society. When I talk about homosexuality and blackness, I'm not equating the two. Black homosexuals exist. Intersectionality is a framework that was created by a black woman named Dr. Kimberly Crenshaw. Brother Ben, intersectionality is important because we don't live single issue lives, brother. We live on the intersection. Now, when I say education is elevation, I am prioritizing how education or knowledge can be derived from argumentation or debating with someone. What this means is that I don't have any character issues with Brother Ben X. I don't think Brother Ben X is a bad person. That's not for you, Brother Ben X. That's for the people in the comment section because I know so many people like to believe that when black men are having a disagreement, this must mean they dislike each other. Now, Brother Ben X doesn't know me, but I've been following him for a while and I actually admire the work that he does. It's just that on this specific point, I disagree. Now, Brother Ben, in closing, you said that these times of quarantining is a time to unify and I agree. My issue is that how do we expect for those brothers and sisters and non-gender conforming black folks of the LGBT community to unify with us if we are rational with the opposition to homosexuality? Especially if you can acknowledge that white people not liking blackness means they're anti-black, brother. What about those other people in our community that don't sex the way that you do? What about them, man?